It's another quarter point in the Earth cycle of the year, and this is always an important time for me to recalibrate, recenter, regroup, and begin with a new intention for the upcoming season. Um, so this is August 1st, which is the halfway point between the summer solstice and the fall equinox. It's really the end of summer turning into fall. And in ancient spirituality, in Celtic spirituality, this is known as Lunasad. It's also known in Anglo-Saxon ancient celebrations as Lamas, which means loaf, um, loaf mass or celebration bread. It's understood as the beginning of the harvest season. So it's the end of the growing season, beginning of the harvest season, celebration of the abundance of grain. And so that word Lamas or Lunasad is this turning into a time of abundance and celebration and also an understanding of completion. So with the completion of the growing season, there's this understanding that the earth has really brought the, um, the goodness of the earth to its fullest fruition, and it's going to begin entering a time of rest. And what's interesting about the Celtic um, perspective around this celebration is the god Lu, which Luna said is based on the god Lu or the sun god, um, sort of the belief was that um, his mother had um, worked to clear the land for harvest and was so exhausted by the work, by completing that work, that she died. And so the mother, in this case sort of Mother Earth, or in, in the case of Celtic spirituality, the mother of uh, the sun god, dies from exhaustion because of the work that she does to prepare the land for this harvest. And I think as um, a feminist, as someone who works with women who are learning to develop boundaries and, and an ethos of care around the roles and responsibilities that they have, um, particularly self-care, and an understanding that that one's value is beyond the caregiving responsibilities that we have or in, embody. And so to have this, this goddess, this mother of the sun god, really come to the edge of her ability to, to work, to produce, to um, kind of prepare the land for this harvest season, I think is a really important reminder for us as modern day women, as working women, as working mothers, as caregivers, that we do have our limitations and we do reach that edge and to give ourselves permission to say, this is enough. And more importantly, to say, I am enough. And that our sense of value, our sense of worth, is not determined by the production and output that we put into the world or, or even the way that we care for others and take care of responsibilities that we have, that we have an intrinsic value apart from that. And so this season of completion, of coming to fullness, I think can have many different meanings for people. Uh, for me, I just graduated from my PhD program in leadership and social change. I just completed my dissertation. It came to the fullest of the expression of the work and research that I did, and it's now a time for me to let that research have its own life in the world, to impact people in the ways that I know it will, but to also, as I like to say, just put pencils down, uh, to say this is the work that I've done and now I'm going to take time to let that settle in to who I am and the work that I do, and to not feel this urgency to, to do or put out into the world um, anything else at the moment. And I think that's what the, the heart of this message is for those who are watching it, is whatever you have in your life that you feel is coming to a close or coming to fruition, or you've brought something as far as it can go, asking yourself, um, whether it is time to let that go, whether it's a relationship that no longer serves you, a work environment that no longer reflects who you are at your core, or perhaps it's a project that you've been working on or um, an approach to life that you've been um, embodying. And, and if it's not something that resonates with you completely or is furthering you into the next chapter of your life, that it's okay to say, this is as far as I will take it. And as many of you know, in my own spiritual journey, um, I've distanced myself from the sort of Christian roots, Protestant roots that I've had due to a lot of the toxic culture and even toxic theologies around um, some of those ideas. And each time I offer these um, kind of spiritual thoughts and intentions around the quarter points and half points of the year, I am 
really embodying this idea of letting go so that I can make room for new growth um, in this area of spirituality that I'm cultivating. Um, so it feels good for me to share this with you at a time in my life when I'm closing up shop on a couple of different things. Um, my vocation of 10 years as a Protestant clergy, I am finished my dissertation, um, I'm coming up on the celebration of the second birthday of my last child who is now entering toddlerhood and kind of closing the door on that stage of infancy uh, for my third and, and final kiddo. So whatever it means to you to be in this season of completion, of, of fullness, and ultimately of letting go um, as we begin to enter the harvest season at the end of the summer, the real, uh, the tail end of summer when it's at really its, its fullest and the strongest um, light of the sun is uh, continuing to warm the earth. So I offer you blessings and gratitude for those of you who have um, joined me in this space of thoughtfulness and of spiritual curiosity and also spiritual uncertainty. Um, may you continue to move into this season with fullness and um, with an understanding of rootedness in your own life.